Hi everyone, today I want to show you what's new in TCA 3.7. For this release I worked a lot on the engine balancing algorithm for maneuver engines. I have fi fixed uh, several bugs and improved the overall balance that it achieves. So what it allows you now to do is to build uh, ships uh, like this cargo here with only maneuver thrusters say space tab uh, a thing that is uh, controlled purely by uh, rotation and translation keyboard controls or by autopilot no orbital maneuvering just point and fire thing so this here it's quite big it weighs over 700 tons and as maneuver thrusters as rcs thrusters actually it uses stock spark liquid fuel engines uh, and also this thing this is also used as maneuver engine it responds to rotation and translation control it acts like rcs so let's let's see how it works so to see points the vessel toward the radial direction and now I just use keyboard controls this is only rotation and this is translation uh, let's switch to so it would be visible Okay, so that's the first thing. But as you may notice, may have noticed, uh, this engine, which act almost in line with center of mass, not quite because of this cockpit here, which uh, moves the center of mass a bit to the side uh, while while the ship is rotating it also fires a bit so it's not a lot uh, before the fixes uh, it was firing quite a bit and it caused the whole vessel to accelerate considerably but it still may be undesirable because it's well it, it's fuel it still accelerates uh, the vessel a bit so to to combat this problem i have added uh, an additional uh, specialization for maneuver engines which is uh, called uh, maneuver mode so currently all the engines are in default rotation and translation mode which is what 
your usual RC thruster does, it responds both to rotation and translation controls. But uh, you may switch it uh, to either rotation only or translation only uh, modes. So maneuver thruster in rotation only mode will only fire when it is needed to create some torque and in translation it will only fire when you want to accelerate uh, because these engines are in a group uh, to say won't allow to switch the mode uh, from part menu of a single engine but you can do it from the main TCA window so this second group and we may switch this group to translation so this one and these four guys and now if you if you try to rotate uh, no, I don't want this to be in locked mode. So now, as you can see, these thrusters are silent, completely silent. They don't fire at all. But if you use translation controls, they are here. Uh, also, as a small addition, as you can see, all TCA related part menu controls are now grouped in TCA group just for convenience. Okay, so this was the first major thing in this release. And the second is the use of menu of manual mode engines. So previously and uh, somewhat con counter intuitively, the manual control engines were actually controlled by TCA uh, when you used some horizontal flying uh, autopilots. So the horizontal speed control uh, TCA model uh, used used to use the manual engines, manual control row to provide horizontal thrust. And this is no more the case. have to oh I already have the inf uh, infinite pr propellant uh, this VTOL is uh, also balanced by TCA completely so no reaction wheels I have disabled even this one and also no RCS thrusters so all uh, all attitude control is handled by maneuver mode engines and it features the horizontal thruster which is in manual control mode and if I set it to fly it won't fire it not a bit so manual engines became simply manual you can set the thrust limiter through part menu or through engines panel but that's it 
TCA won't interfere with manual engines no more. Oh. That was... That was... That was too much. Hey. <laughs> That was just too much for it. So to to achieve the behavior that you previously had with horizontal thruster, the thing you now had have to do is to set it to maneuver mode so now for horizontal thrust TCA uses also maneuver engines change the maneuver mode here and this will result I have set it to rotation so now this engine should not provide any horizontal thrust any translational thrust uh, but it may be used uh, a bit for rotation except that it is almost in line with center of masses so it won't provide much torque and uh, hence the optimization algorithm will basically exclude it uh, from calculation the interesting thing now is what to say does now so, have you have seen uh, the the ship tried to use these maneuver engines as horizontal thrusters? It tried to rotate to the side to accelerate with these thrusters. Let's let's see it again, maybe. It won't happen each time. And uh, let's actually revert and uh, try again because this is important. So, because now maneuver engines are used for horizontal thrust, TCA has to somehow decide if it should or shouldn't use particular uh, thruster uh, to, to get some uh, thrust in the direction it desires, or rather requires. So again, if I now launch it to follow the route, it will try at first to rotate to one side and to accelerate with these uh, small thrusters. But let's stop for a bit. But you may not want to say to use smaller maneuver engines for horizontal thrust. 
and for that you have one new additional setting in advanced tab so first of all you have a mm, master switch uh, that allows or forbids to say to use horizontal thrusters whatsoever but then you have uh, this field that allows you to set the lower limit uh, that maneuver engines l lower limit on the thrust on the specific thrust of maneuver engines uh, and well let's uh, let me just show you so these engines uh, combined provide about uh, three kilonewtons per ton uh, of thrust uh, to this uh, to this vessel so if I say here 5 and once again launch oh, that's, that's too much launch to follow this path uh, it will never try to use this for horizontal acceleration because they provide they, they don't provide much thrust they are meant to be used as attitude controllers But if I enable this engine in translation mode, uh, this engine provides much more thrust, uh, uh, a, lo uh, a lot more than five uh, kilonewtons per ton. And TCA will use it to get horizontal thrust. So this setting allows TCA to differentiate between maneuver engines with respect to horizontal thrusts for uh, for horizontal for VTOL flight. Uh, 